What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we continue on with the T20 Blast as we take on Sussex and the others in some hot T20 cricket. If you have joined us in the last couple of episodes, you would have seen that the Outlaws have started to string a couple of wins together. Pijma doing his thing. He's getting thrown around up, down, left, right. But the most important part is that he is hitting runs, making runs, taking wickets along the way and doing the job for the boys. If we have a look at the top batting, bowling and performers of the competition, no one from the Outlaws are there but surely after today's episode and the efforts that we put in, we might start to see a few names up there. But until then guys, I'll catch you out in the middle. Let's get behind Pijma and the boys and let's see how they get on. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll take a fifer in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in, come and say g'day, and let's continue to put cricket back on the map. Welcome to Trent Bridge for this T20 Blast game against Sussex. The boys are ready to put in a shift today. We've got Travis Head, Luke Wright, Tom Clark, Haynes, Carter, Archer, you name it, it doesn't matter. Trent Bridge under lights, where would you rather be? We've got Cook and Merrin in the middle. Sussex called tails because we know it never fails, but it fails them on this occasion. Nottingham she win the toss on a medium standard wicket. I don't like Travis Head in that uniform, but the boys have chosen to bat. Fingers crossed Pijma can get a bat this time and start to continue to put the runs on the board. Well, once again, no bat for Pijma in this one. The Outlaws after 20 overs, 119 for two. Alex Hales finally getting some runs. Benny Duckett doing what he does best. But there we go. Number five, not required. We're not going to mess around in this one. We're going to pick up play in the 11th over. Sussex are 40 for three. The big red has the ball in his hand. It is absolutely game on at Trent Bridge here. Let's see what he can do in the middle. Well, here he is into his seventh match. Four wickets and a dream. Clark and Head, the batsman for Sussex. They need Aiden over and Pishma rolls in with a short one. Oh, and this hits him in the throw. Pishma's up in his grill. He's fired up this bloke. He really is fired up. He didn't get a bat for the second time in two episodes, and he just wants to kill. He goes short again. This time he hits Clark again, and he's up in his grill. Well, third time lucky. The ball's almost dribbled onto the stumps. Can he go again? It's short, and this time Clark uses that thing in his hands, and he gets down the other end for a single. Travis Head has just entered the building. None off his first ball. Pishman goes short, and he loves the short ball. He goes back and pats it to cover for no run. Well, I was going to say what an over it has been, but we've just top edge for six. Oh, make it twice. Make it twice. You've got four brilliant balls. Your last two go for 10 and a no ball. Well, free hit. Talk about shit in the bed. Last of his first is full. Head walks across. He hits it to mid-wicket for no run. And after 11, Sussex, a 52 for three. Well, he was on an absolute heater. Until Travis Head top edged it over the keeper's head. We go in again short. This time Head hits it to mid wicket for no run. 55 or 41. We're going to go the full straight one. Pish in. Hits his toes. It was going to miss the stumps, but another solid dot. Didn't quite pick the full ball there. Travis Head, Pishma Pent. What a battle this is. Again, he's on his toes. And he has to chase this one himself. They come back for two. They do. They get home safe. Good running. If we can just limit the boundary ball. We go in again. We're there. It's a top edge. Is this swing down for five wides? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Well, well, well. He's well and truly shat the bed this time. He's full to Travis Head. He works this to mid off just for a single. And it really is just that one ball in the over that costs this young fella. Short again. Hit down to fine leg for one for Clark. 
Last ball of his second. He's conceded 21. Can we fire up and finish? We bowl a beautiful ball. It gets whipped off the legs for one. And after 14, Sussex, a 75 for three. And that was the end for Pijma. Only the two overs. He was battered all around the ground. He lost his head. But as you can see, the bowling unit pulled it together and were able to get the win by 16 runs. There is, I don't know what it is, but when he doesn't bat, he doesn't perform with the ball. And they're just games that he doesn't want to be a part of. So we need the big dog firing with both bat and ball. Let's see how he gets on in the next one. Welcome back to Trent Bridge for this T20 match against Warwickshire. As we've said before, we need the big fella firing. He sits at five. We've got Sibley, Milan, Brathwaite, Brisbane, Miles, and the boys today. We've got Wayne Kerr, who stands at central. Warwickshire call heads as the coin gets tossed. It is a heads today, and on a medium standard wicket, it is yellow versus blue. They've chosen to have a bat. Surely, Pijma can get picked up and have a crack with the ball. Let's see how they get on in the middle. Well, finally, his time has come. He's been given the ball in the power play over. So we'll see how this goes. He rolls in for ball number one. He's at the toes of Milan. And it's a solid dot to cover to start proceedings. Well, I don't really know where to be. It looks like they're going to flog him every single ball. He's full this time and edging to first slip. Was it on the bounce? I think it was another solid dot. Well, we were here last match. Couple of dots to start. We're full again. This one getting thick edged down to third man. No dramas there. Pijma concedes his first runs. Just like that. I probably should be quitting. Sibley. Oh, dearie me, he's done it again. He's overstepped. This is an issue for Pish. A big issue. Well, he just loses his head, doesn't he? He continues to overstep. He rolls in this time. The free hit gets pumped through extra cover or forward point. It doesn't matter. It's four more. Dom Sibley playing T20. If this bloke hits us for a boundary, I quit. First ball into him, he walks across and he hits it to the short boundary and he picks up four, no way. You're kidding. We've conceded 15, just like that. We roll in, Sibley leaves it the smart ass and after four overs, Warwickshire, 28 for one. So we're bought in for over number two. Thank God that the power play's finished. We go to the short plan. Sibley doesn't expect it, but he gets enough to get down the other end for one. Slow ball bounces, just hitting the deck, finding some confidence. There's another one. It just gets hammered to the short boundary for four. Wow. We can't take a trick. Genuinely cannot take a trick at all with the ball. We roll in again. There's another pull shot for a dot ball. Five conceded off three balls. We go short. There's the hook shot. Doesn't quite get it. And once again, we're happy with the picket fence. Been a much better over. Just the seven off this so far. Can we close out with the in-swinging Yorker? We can, but it gets absolutely hammered by Milan, and it goes for four. Well, it's just not his moment. These young legs starting to feel it as the first of his third gets hit to backward square for one. His young body, although he's a big boy, Later in the competition, you do feel it. This time he bowls a much better ball and it gets met on the up by Sibley who punches it down the ground. He's going to pick up a couple while well fielded. Still inside the 10th over, 64 for one. There are plenty of runs in this wicket here as Pishma bowls right on the hips. Has it been hit for six? Oh, it has! Get the bloke off. He leans into this short boundary. It doesn't take too much, and it's in the stands. 39 conceded off 2.5. We roll in for the last ball. We're there, and there's the play and miss we've wanted forever. The boys still can't take a wicket. Pishma called in for the 17th over. It's 109 for one. Wayne Kerr stands centrally as Pishma's on the legs and Milan works this off the hips for four. You're probably thinking, bowl it outside off stump, but I'm trying to bowl to the field. Pishma there again. He gets worked off. Oh, don't tell me this is four more. No, it's not. Well fielded by the man at fine leg. Just the couple. 45 and no wicket. This has to be a record. Surely comes in and oh, he almost knocks him over. 
It was fast, short, fast. We go again this time. It's on Milan's bat and he works it through mid-wicket. Probably pick up another couple. Well, field it again and the score continues to rise. Last ball of our spell. None for 48, surely not 50. Oh, he gets launched off his legs. Is this out? Is this out? Yes, it is! Well, he finally gets the reward he deserves. He puts it into the deck. It gets worked off the hip and caught on the boundary. Suck egg, Sibley. You've had your fun. And Pijma finishes his spell with a wicket. It's two for 118. And that was all she wrote for the 20th over for Pijma's spell and the game. Nottinghamshire chasing this one down in the 16th over. 134 for for two and Pijma really struggling without the bat. He hasn't had a hit this episode yet. I don't know what's going on, but finally the top order are firing. Clarky with a 68 not out. Duckett with another red inker, but Pijma needs to stay patient. His moment's going to come. The time is there. He's shown he's put the runs on the board. He just needs to sort himself out with the ball and everything will come together. Let's see how the boys get on in the next one. Welcome to Chelmsford for this T20 match. Essex and the Outlaws go battle again. Alistair Cook, Wesley, Walter, Weeder, Harmer, Snader, Siddle, and the boys take on Alex Hales, Patel Duckett, and Pijma Pan. We're going to get this one going big. Wayne Kerr stands central as the coin goes up. Tails never fails. It lets us down at Essex today. And on a medium stand, wicket. I wonder what we're going to do. Surely Pishma gets a bat. Essex have won the toss. They're going to have a bat first. Let's see if the big red can sort himself out with the ball or catches in the middle. Well, power play complete and Pishma stands at the top of his run up. Alistair Cook, his hero growing up is in. The first ball wedges his toes and he works it to square leg for none. 29 for one after six. It's been solid from the Outlaws as we're full to Cook and he wedges this back with a point for four. Oh, it started again. Well, it's not a good feeling this. A young fella has been shown the doors of T20 cricket. He bowls one on the hook, Cookie's hips and he hooks this down to fine leg just for one this time. Can we stay composed? Wesley, five off seven. Pish rolls in. He's full. And there he is, a dot ball to square leg, a confidence booster nonetheless. Going to start to roll our fingers over the ball. None for five or four balls. We're safe and there's an inside edge for yet another dot ball. Well, bold big fella. Last ball of our first. We've only conceded five. This is a record as we're in again. We get flogged through extra cover. I don't think it's going to go for four. The boys pick up a couple. And to complete the seventh over Essex, 36 for one. Called in for over number two, and we've only conceded the seven. How good is life? We're in again into Cook. We're wedging him up. He takes the single to mid on. We don't mind it. Just looking to bowl at the body here. So far, so good. He rolls in again, tucks it away, and just a single down to fine leg. Well, bowl, Pijma Pant. Tried the cutters, the in swingers. Can we stay disciplined to cook? Yes, we're at the body. Can't do too much about that, big fella. Last ball of our second. Just the four conceded off it so far. We're there or thereabouts. And Cook with the leading edge. Well, bowl, Pijma, Pan. It's one for 51 after nine. We get spelled for a couple. And then he is called upon again for over number three. No dramas in the scorecard as the first ball gets pumped by Wesley over his head for four while changing tempo. This is where Pige needs to be smart. He needs to adapt and he needs to go again. He's been put on the back foot this time. He knocks him over. He drags it on and he's gone. Nah. Well, how do you like that? Finally, some reward for Pige where he drags it on and Wesley's gone for 24. It's two for 72. Well, Big Pepper comes into the attack and we adapted, we adjusted and we've picked up the wicket. We roll in again, Pishma in. He's short and he gets lifted to backward square just for a single superb bowling from the Big Red. 
Alistair Cook faces up. We can't be too full nor short to him. We're going to bowl into his body and he's going to whip it across into the vacant mid-wicket gap. He's going to pick up one and we're going to leave it there. Good bowling. Not too sure what Pepper's all about here. We've got a couple balls left as we're full and he wedges this out just for a single down to third man. Well fielded. Oh, it's going to be two. Wake up! Last ball of the 13th. Boy, oh boy, has he done a job today. It's short. It gets picked up and it's a dot ball to forward square and 13 overs a bowl at Essex, 76 for two. Well, Alistair Cook, 48 off 47. Pepper still doesn't know what day it is. We roll in for over number four and he just hits this to mid on for a single. Well, I'll tell you what we haven't been today. Hittable. No, no balls. No dramas. Pepper tries to whack this. All he can do is get it for one to mid-wicket and Pijma's confidence is growing. Alistair Cook gets to 50. 89 for two. Pij rolls in. He bowls the cutter and Cook lifts it. He doesn't get enough of it. It's one hand, one bounce. Is this a run out? Surely take him off, Pij. No. The last ball of his fourth. One for 30 are the figures and he's bowled well. Cook lifts this off his hips. Is he out? He's not. It's one hand, one bounce. It's just a single. 15 overs bowled. Essex 92 for two. And that was all she wrote for the match. Pijma finishing with one for 31 off his four overs. He was brilliant, economical. Alistair Cook, 69 of 63. He's cost Essex the T20 here. Pij not required with the bat. The boys getting the job done in the 15th over. 121 for one. It's been, what, three matches and we haven't had a bat yet. I don't know what's going on. You've just got to stay patient with the lad. Let's see what he can do in the next one. Fire up, you outlaw support. Welcome to the Sussex Cricket Ground for this T20 match between the Outlaws and Sussex. Now, are we going to get a bat today? Surely. We spent far too long bowling the ball. Pijma keeps his spot at number five as the coin goes up. No Wayne, no Malto. Heads is a call. We win the toss and surely on a soft grassy one, we're going to have a hit today. You'd think that we're going to bowl. It's exactly what the captain does. Let's see what the big dog can do. Out in the middle. Well, we've been begging for a bat and it's almost got to the point in the innings where we're begging for a bowl. 77 for three after 14 as the big red steams in for ball number one. He's nice and straight to Carter who tickles it down to fine leg for a single to start things off. He rolls in for ball number two and an important spell here. The batsmen are going to go for him as we speak and there's a big play and miss. Leg side heavy field. Pijman needs to bowl at the body here. He needs to be in and tuck him up. And there's another top edge. One bounce for the only spot on the ground. He could have got it. And he did. Well, they're starting to really grow on my gears. We go in again. We need a bowl of the same plan. Pijman's there. And there's a French cut going. One air, one bounce. Down to fine leg direct hit. And just a single. Carter on strike. Two balls left in the over. We've got mid on and mid off up. So we bowl short. And this time he's hit it straight to mid wicket. And Pishman's on the board. Ah. Yes, please. You bowl to a plan. He knocks it in. And it's lollipop to mid wicket. Right where the fielder is. And Pishma is on the board for one. Carter gone. And it's four for 83. Well, Luke Wright steps into the batter's box. And Pishma is steaming in for the last ball. He's short again. This time, lollipopped up. But it's on the bounce. And after 15 overs, Sussex are 83 for four. Well, another wicket falls and the Outlaws continue to pile on the pressure. Pijma in for over number two. We go in the short bounces. This one just gets hooked to backward square for one. Travis had six off one. He's not messing about. What have we got? Second ball for him once again. Up into that armpit and it's a dot ball to mid wicket. Some important balls here. Yet another dot ball to Travis Head. One for seven off 1.3. We've got to be clean here. And there's another dot ball. Well, bold big fella. Now, you almost want to surprise him with the Yorker. We're not going to do that. We've got two balls left. We need to protect it. There's a top edge. And does it come onto the stumps? It doesn't. Yet another globe. 
Last ball of our second. They're far too hungry here. We're going for the in-swinging York. It's fast. It's on the toes of head. And he whips it down to fine leg for one. 17 bold. Sussex 97 for five. Well, that was all she wrote for Pijma and the game. Nottinghamshire getting it done in the 19th over. Alex Hales, Ben Slater, Duckett and Clark only required to chase down Sussex's 121 for five. Pijma not getting a bat again, but I guess the best part is even if we do bowl two overs, we are picking up wickets. We're doing a job and we are contributing to massive, massive wins. Well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. I know Pishma's not really getting a bat, but it's T20 cricket. The time will come. We've just got to stay patient because when the time does come, we're going to be required to do a job. If you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you check us out on our live streams over on Twitch as well. But until then, guys, look after yourselves and those around you, and I will catch you in the next one.